particular look to see if there was major dips like we like to check because sometimes when we have a smooth game it's not always that smooth when we do the evaluation and I do learn from the evaluation so yeah that was not a good situation doesn't like our bishop coming out there alright felt okay I still can't see oh it's because he gets a pawn oh because they were a pawn up weren't they and this is how they got the pawn because we couldn't then yeah we yeah we lost out in a sense on that side gotta bear that in mind although this is a slightly different position to how I would normally do with this transaction so I think that's why I was a little bit flummoxed with the position okay so we attacked and attacked again and attacked again and attacked lots of things to take and then we worked out if there was going to be pawn taking and then we got the shock of our lives when we only had four and they had five but it was from the earlier pawn take that they grabbed so gotta watch those tactics but positionally it didn't stand them in good stead so quite happy with this so now the trade down happens doubled the pawns in these sort of situations doubling the pawns might not be the best i think i'm happy doubling the pawns earlier in the game to give the rooks access you know to um open files etc but when it gets later to the you know towards the end game type thing you have to really box clever and either get them really ramped down the board so that they're effective in their own right supported um or you just left sort of foul really so we grabbed so we got the pawn back and then we're looking for a back ranker of some sort so brought that and then brought the rook down okay so the gauge bar is slowly inching for us so it's not majorly we're not winning majorly at all um so one wrong move and it could be all over so we put a check on and we block off this area here i was a little bit worried about that but his king's not doing anything at the moment now it's showing a draw from this so it wasn't clear so it was whether or not the opponent was going to make a mistake slight advantage nothing major uh, so we pushed the king up and then we said well shall we peep our head through and as we did this i'm like thinking well maybe it doesn't matter if he does come around the back and takes those pawns as you can see the gauge bar is showing we're in favor now so that's quite good so then we captured and wasn't too fussed about that situation if we could get our pawn up because if the opponent goes and greedy munches these pawns they're not going to be in a good position to be able to come and actually attack the pawn with their rook so they're up and we can move the king now looking ready to support the pawn if need be but as we mentioned the rook can put a check on the king now and we get promoted and that's all she wrote on that one so interesting game but i think it's more about understanding when to double pawns or the position on the board and then working your pieces together always working the pieces together keeping it simple just in another 10 minute game let's just take here grab this okay so he's hungry let's just attack the queen a smaller piece attacking a high piece he's hiding the queen so we could fashion a little bit of an attack on the queen here mindful the bishop's looking to attack the rook Okay, Queen's doing the merry dance. It's attacking the knight. What more is there? Let's just uh, attack the bishop. Oh, 
Oh, I'm very tired today. Thinking that long, I think the night is going there, isn't it? Blocking. Oh, interesting times. That night's got no protection on it, but then my knight doesn't has it either. So if I went and took that knight, his queen takes our knight. I take his pawn, he takes our pawn. I take his other pawn, he takes our pawn. Rook attacks him, then he's on the back foot. Let's go. Let's see if that works out that way. Let's take. Or does he go for his rook attack first? He doesn't. No. Okay. Let's go here. So he's polished off. He's polished off more pawns than mine. How is that? The correct thing. Let's attack the queen, like we said. He could do a reverse or just attack with his rook. I think he's trying to fashion this so that my rook isn't going to go up here. Yeah. We'll go here and get that pawn then. Take the queen doubling up. Take the pawn. So we've captured the pawn back and doubled up their pawns. Now he's trying to make some heavy weight of this um, situation. Let's go here. to get my rook off the board. Let's go there. It does. King's coming to protect the pawn here. Right, okay, so let me see. King up. Gonna have to get his king working its way to support this, uh, but my king can't come out really because he's gonna put checks on and we lose that. Okay, let's just make it look like we're doing something different. Could be a draw. As soon as I come out, he's just putting checks on, then he'll get this for more. Peekaboo. Yeah. Do I risk it for a biscuit? Move there, then he comes right round the back. Risk it for a biscuit. Mm hmm. I'm risking it for a biscuit. So, because his king's so far over there, maybe we can get this promoted. 
or get his rook off the board. It's going around the back, it's going for it. Yep, yeah, like we said. Right, so. He's gone there, so we can't do that rook check thing. Stop him from coming here. This king's out in the open, so I can actually just do the rook check thing now. Yeah. get the promotion stealthily done with a check his rooks on a white square that means we can come here and get it off the board that they've left the game have to wait for the timer to run down was that 25 seconds okay so they've left the game <laughs>